to today deal with the differentiation. Last year's formula, quick re recap. You know what is differentiation means? We are doing a slope for any curve which is dy by dx. A slope or a tangent, okay? d by dx of sin x is cos x, d by dx of cos x is minus sin x, d by dx of uh, secant x is secant x tan x, uh, secant x tan x, d by dx of uh, cosecant x is minus cosecant x cot x, uh, differentiation of uh, tan x is secant square x, differentiation of um, cot x is minus cosecant square x, differentiation of e to the power x is e to the power x because for an exponential function it will be like this. If you do a slope for this, it will be same as e to the power x and differentiation of log x is 1 by x. Um, differentiation of uh, a to the power x, that is any number 2 to the power x is uh, 2 to the power x log 2 to the base e. So, it is a to the power x log a to the base e. Okay? So, these are the things which you must have learnt last year. Uh, let me elaborate a little more on it. Supposing they ask you differentiation of sin square x, there is no formula as such. So, then what you do, you imagine, you break this question down into three parts. One is sin square x, then into sin x, then into x, whole thing, then this thing and just this. Okay? So, on differentiating sin square x, it is 2 sin x. On differentiating this sin x, it is called cos x and differentiation of x is 1. So, uh, that is called chain rule as you, you have to look within it uh, and see if you have differentiated everything. Okay, sin square x is that is why I, I want you to imagine this as capital X. So, x square is 2x, so 2 sin x, then sin x would check cos x. You have to look at it is nothing but differentiation. So, differentiation of cos square x, just join me. How can you break down this question as macro level cos square x? then there is a cos x, then there is a x. So, you have to differentiate all this and cos square x is like imagine this to be capital X square, it will be 2x, right? So, 2 cos x and then cos x differentiate now minus sin x, x differentiate now 1. Okay, d by dx of tan square x. Break this question down, you do not have to really do that, but I am telling you for you to understand tan square x, tan x and x, there are 3 components which you have to differentiate. This will be 2 tan x because I am going to imagine this to be capital X square 2x, so 2 tan x. The differentiation tan x is secant square x and differentiation of x is 1. So, it is very important to look inside and keep differentiating from the question. 2 tan x into secant square x into x. You do not have to really split this up and write, you have to write it in your mind. Differentiation of secant cube 3x. The question gets broken down into secant cube 3x and imagination is an x cube here. Then there is a secant 3x and there is a 3x. As you keep differentiating each one, it will be uh, 3x square. So, 3 secant square 3x. Then secant 3x when differentiated, secant x, secant 3x tan 3x. So, secant cube 3x tan 3x. 3x on differentiation becomes uh, just 3 because 3 into x is 3 into dx by dx. So, it is 1. So, 3, 3, 3 is a 9. So, this will be the answer. I hope you understood all this differentiation of cosecant cube 4x. So, cosecant cube 4x is 3 cosecant square 4x. Then cosecant 4x is minus cosecant 4x cot 4x. And this 4x on differentiation will be 4. So, 4 3 is a 12. This, this will be the answer. So, this is the introduction how you have to differentiate anything other than the formulas that you learnt. So, for example, differentiation of e to the part 2x is this question is e to the part 2x and 2x differentiation. e to the part 2x is e to the part 2x and 2x on differentiation becomes 2. So, 2 into e to the part 2x is the answer. Correct? Um, um, differentiation of 2 to the power x is 2 to the power x log 2 to the base e. I said that, right? Uh, so, these are the things that you must know. Uh, apart, apart from these that I taught, you should also know differentiation of inverse trigonometry such as d by dx of sin inverse of x is 1 by root of 1 minus x square. d by dx of cos inverse of x is minus 1 by root of 1 minus x square d by dx of tan inverse of x 
is 1 by 1 plus x square. d by dx of cot inverse of x is minus 1 by 1 plus x square. d by dx of secant inverse of x is 1 by x into root of x square minus 1. They will put a mod here, okay? And then where x is not equal to 0, whatever. Okay, then d by dx of you do not need all this. Okay, cosecant inverse of x is 1 by minus 1 by mod x into root of x square minus 1. Similar to this, this is a mod x on the denominator extra and it is root of x square minus 1. So, these are the formulas of differentiation of inverse trigonometry. You must memorize all this. Okay, um, uh, so just repeat it uh, so many times that you are very, very clear. Okay, um, uh, apart from this. Um, d by dx of root x is 1 by 2 root x because x to the power n is n into x to the power n minus 1. You must be familiar with this. So, therefore, this is x to the power 1 by 2 which is 1 by 2 into x to the power 1 by 2 minus 1. So, it will become 1 by 2 into x to the power minus 1 by 2 therefore, it is 1 by 2 root x. So, instantly I would like you to say differentiation of root x is 1 by 2 root x differentiation of root of x plus 1 therefore is 1 by 2 into root of x plus 1 because I am imagining this to be capital X or according to uh, inside rule if I break one, x it will be 1 and 1 it will be 0. So, 1 plus 0 is anyway 1. So, there is nothing uh, it is differentiation. So, d by dx of root of x square plus 1 uh, 1 by 2 into root of x square plus 1 and on differentiating x square you get 2x you understand the according to chain rule. So, we can instantly write such answers when you know uh, root x is 1 by 2 root x. Similarly, d by dx of um, d by dx of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. How is it? 1 by x is written as x to the power minus 1, minus 1 x to the power minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 x to the power minus 2 which is minus 1 by x square. I would like you to memorize all this. Okay, d by dx of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. d by dx of 1 by x square is minus 2 by x cube applying the same principle d by dx of 1 by x cube is minus 3 by x to the power 4. Can you see the pattern? The, this power goes there with the minus sign. Okay, So, you have to memorize all this. What happens further is 1 by supposing x plus 1. Well, right, it is similar to capital X, right? So, minus 1 by x plus 1 the whole square and chain rule apply panna 1 plus 0 I can ignore. d by dx of 1 by x square plus 1. This is like capital X. So, minus 1 by x square plus 1 the whole square into as you apply chain rule it will be into 2x. So, you must be become very very familiar with these shortcut formulas that I am trying to write now. Okay? And of course, you all know product rule. You must be familiar last year product rule is u dot v which is u into dv plus v into du. Modal irkar da apdi eithra, renda irkar different shape mandra plus renda irkar da apdi eithra, modal irkar da different shape mandra. Division rule is u by v which is v into du minus u into dv by v square. Q irkar da apdi eithra, mail irkar different shape mandra minus mail irkar da apdi eithra, q irkar different shape mandra by q irkar the whole square. So, you must be familiar with the product rule. So, when you have x sin x, you cannot just differentiate x as 1 and sin x as cos x. No, this is u and this is v. When you have two variables, you must be very, very, very careful. Are you clear? Okay. Now, I uh, will go to the second video because my introduction I think for differentiation is over. Okay, let me finish the logarithmic properties. Um, this is not differentiation, these are logarithmic property because you have now learned logarithm till date. Log of x plus log of y is log xy or log a plus log b is log of a into b. The addition in logarithm, two different logarithms will become multiplication as one logarithm. Log a minus log b is log of a by b. Can you see the multiplication will become addition on expansion, the division will become subtraction. Also, you should know log of x to the base e, always log x is always having a base as e. Supposing this turns out to be equal to t, e to the power t will become x. Or exponential function is the exponential logarithmic function is the inverse of the exponential function. Can you see? You can convert one into another. E to the power t is equal to x. Again, log x to the base a is equal to t. 
e to the power t is equal to x. This is how we can convert a logarithmic function as an exponential function or by applying log on both sides to this log of e to the power t is equal to log x. Logarithm le you can bring what is in the power to the front t into log e. Log e is like log e to the base e so it becomes 1 is equal to log x and you get this. Can you see log x is equal to t on applying log on both sides to this. And you should always remember the power can come forward. Like for fun, I'll say Konde Lirkar the Monday la Konduanga. This is Konde Lirkar the Monday la Konduanga. Something like that. You have, you can have your own funny way of saying anything. But just the question of remembering it log of x to the power n can be written as n log x. But this is log x to the power n, not log x the whole to the power n. No. In this, you can't bring it forward. If it's of this format, I have to have one more logarithm log of x to the power n so I can bring n of log of log x not otherwise. We will not come across log x the whole to the power n where we bring n forward. We can only bring n forward provided is log x to the power n which is n log x. Okay. So these are the logarithmic properties. Um, I guess uh, okay. Uh, and the last but not the least the base should always be e. Supposing in a logarithm uh, log x to the base 7 I, mean the, I can't just differentiate it and write it as 1 by x no the base has to be e but the base is 7 so there is a property where you multiply this by log 7 to the base e this 7 here by well, you can't just multiply you should also divide by log 7 to the base e in that case the numerator will become log x to the base e update the consolidate it will become log x to the base e by log 7 to the base e and when I have to differentiate this I can take 1 by log 7 to the base e out I will be left with only log x to the base e which is perfect which on differentiation constants can be taken out and log x will be 1 by x it becomes very very easy can you see so these are the general logarithmic properties log a b is log a plus log b log a by b is log a minus log b log x to the power n and then the n log x no condor law there is nothing uh, of that sort where log x the whole to the power n and you can't you have to have one more log. Uh, then uh, log x to the base e is equal to t e to the power t is equal to x these are the very very important properties of logarithm which we will be applying in differentiation. I hope you are clear a multiplication becomes an addition and uh, the division becomes a uh, uh, subtraction and uh, uh, everything I guess should be very clear. You must be very very clear with all this. I will ask you questions.